Uh, also, when it comes to co-citation feeds, where else can we embed the BuzzBoost embed code other than the G site in the ID page? Thanks, you guys are legends. Thanks, Joel. Um, I haven't used it anywhere other than that. Um, there, I mean, I'm any you know you could you could you could embed the BuzzBoost embed code using our our embed gigs at MGYB, for example. Uh, you know that that would help because then you're again you're you're embedding your RSS co-citation feed uh, in relevant content on hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of sites, right? So, uh, you know, that's something I've not even tried that. I've not even tested that, but it's really interesting because not all of my ID pages have that, uh, built into them where we build, a you know, a, a co-citation super feed with rank feeder, which is, uh, Lisa Allen's product. Um, but on the sites that I do, it's really interesting. I've got several lead gen assets that are strictly lead gen assets. They don't really have a bigger brand associated with them or anything else. And every one of those that I have that buzz boost, and I, was, I just noticed this this week, which is why I'm, uh, this is a timely question. Um, I've noticed that every one of those, even ones that I haven't touched because they were really for like development purposes, like I'd set up some GMVs for testing and things like that. They're all ranking and generating leads. And some of them aren't even monetized. Like in other words, I don't even have a lead buyer for some of them. And I just was noticing that every one of them that I was looking at this week had that. So I'm thinking about creating a, uh, a process and then having one of my VAs go through and actually do that for all of my lead gen assets. I, again, I don't, I can't swear that that was why those other lo locations are, are still ranking, but some of these are like two years old, never fucking touched them, never done any work, no, no press releases, no nothing. And yet they're still in the three pack, like two years later with no additional work being done other than, uh, you know, the, the ID page is continually updating from the buzz boost feed that's in there. So anyways, I don't know of anywhere else to, that you would embed that. Maybe Marco has some ideas, but using the embed gigs and MGYB might be something worth testing. Anywhere where you can answer the code, actually access the code. You got access to the code, you can insert an iframe. I mean, that's literally anywhere where you can access the code and get a, an, a, uh, an iframe. Again, you just said it, hired Tedia through mgyb.co for an embed run, plus link building, plus indexing, and you're good to go. I mean, that, that's literally all you need because you're going to get iframes wherever you, wherever Dedia can get an iframe and you're going to get it, uh, links into it and do that indexing gig and it's all relevant. And that, that dude, right now, iframes are magic. They've always been, they've always been really good, but for some reason, every time Google comes in hard and then they start rolling back the update for some reason, old school shit, like this kind of stays and it, and it powers up even more. It's really interesting. It's really, you guys got to don't worry so much about Google uh, updates, but look at the result after the update. Look at the data and see what's, what's actually working. And you'll see that old school shit is really getting power right now. Yeah, it's cyclical, right? I mean, it seems like there's always certain fundamental strategies that work better sometimes than others, but then they come back and they come back stronger. So it's kind of like cyclical. And I've, I've noticed that over the, over the years as well. So.